Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do exploring quadratic graphs. Let's begin. Okay, first question, you have this graph, okay? Now what does he want is that identify the vertex of the graph. Tell whether it is a minimum or a maximum. So first we need to know the vertex. Now the vertex it's either the highest point or the lowest point. As you can see the graph keeps on going up, keeps on going up. So we don't have the highest point because it's infinite. Now let's look down, this is the lowest point. So because this one is the lowest point here, so we say that the vertex, okay, the vertex will be of course, x and y, that's the point. So in this case, the vertex, the x value for this point is negative 1, while the y value for this point is negative 2. And that's the answer. That's the vertex. Now, he's asking us also, is it a minimum or a maximum? Now, as you can see, because it's the lowest point, so it's going to be a minimum. Okay? going to be a minimum. If it was the highest point, it's going to be a maximum. That is it. Okay? Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> As we said, negative 1, negative 2, and it's a minimum. The question is, which of the quadratic functions has the narrowest graph? Now, it's easy to know that but so you can understand it, let's say if we have the y-axis and, of course, the x-axis. Now, we have 1 4, 1 9, 1, we're talking about the a without the negative, and we have 4. So he wants the narrowest graph. If you look at the 1 4, okay, all of them start with 0 0 here. So let's say, let's plug in 1 for each one. So 1 times 1 fourth, it's going to be 1 fourth. Let's say it's going to be uh, 1 and 1 fourth, somewhere here. Okay? 1 ninth, it's going to be below it. Okay? 1 times 1, it's going to be negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1, it's going to be around here, negative 1. We said this is 1 fourth. And the 4, it's going to be 1, and 4 is going to be higher. So if you look at this one, it's going to go this way. This one is going to be this way, and this one will be this way. The 1 here, 4, of course, it's going to... Now because 1 is going to be 4 here, for the first one, it's going to be more narrow, which means... If it's get bigger, if the number gets bigger, the graph becomes narrower. That if it's if a is bigger than one, if a is bigger than one, that is it. So I guess so. The answer would be y equals four x squared because the four is the biggest number here. Okay, and that's it. So the answer is four x squared. Question three, the same thing in this case. He wants us to find the vertex and if it's a minimum or a maximum, the vertex, as we said, the highest or the lowest point. If you look at the lowest, we don't have a lowest. Why? Because the graph keeps on going down. The highest, the highest it can go is to negative one. So the vertex would be x and y. x is zero and y is negative one. It's this point. Now, is it a minimum or maximum? Because it's the highest point, so we say it's going to be a max. That's the answer. Zero, negative, one. And it's a maximum. So it's also, in this case, A. Question four. For each value of x 
is the row in the table of values incorrect? The function is the quadratic function y equals 5x squared. So he told us, okay, he told us that the function is y equals 5x squared. This is the function, right? Now he tells us which one is incorrect. All I need to do is plug in the numbers and I'll see which one is incorrect. Let's plug in, for example, 0. 5 times 0 squared is 0. That's perfect. It's also 0. Let's plug in 2. It's supposed to be 10. Let's see if it's 10. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So if I plug in 2, it's going to be 20. In this case, it's 10. So this is the wrong one. x equals 2. That is it. As you can see, guys, it can't be any simpler. All you need to do is plug in the numbers. Which of the quadratic functions has the narrowest graph? As you can see, he wants again the narrowest graph. In this case, you have the 3, you have the 1 third, you have the negative 2, the 1 eighth. Now, it's kind of tricky here. So we said the biggest number is the narrowest graph, right? Okay, so the biggest number is how much? In this case, of course, we disregard the negative either 3 or 2, 3 is the biggest one. So immediately would say that that y equals negative 3x squared is the narrowest. Why? Because 3 is bigger than 2. Now, but, I want to show you something. So we said it's 3. Let's plug in 3. 1 times 3 is 3. So the 1 and the 3. So this is 1. And we plugged in 1, so it's going to be 3 to y. So this is 3, or negative 3 in this case. It's going to be here, okay, which is perfect. Now let's go to the 1 third. If you plug in 1, 1 times 1 third is 1 third. So it's going to, ah, oh, 1, sorry. Right there. 1 here, so the negative 3 is here. This one we can erase. <clears throat> So in this case, the 1 and 1 third, so we have 1, and 1 third is going to be around 1 third, it's going to be around here, really close to it. Okay? Now this is not my problem, not the 1 third my problem. My problem is the 1 eighth. 1 eighth, which is going to be smaller. So 1 is going to be even smaller than it. So if I want to graph it, it's going to be something like that. If I want to graph the 1 and 3rd, it's going to be something like that. So of course, the bigger number is also 3, so it's the first one. It's the first one. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Order the group of quadratic functions, the widest to the narrowest. Now we're going to do the opposite, the widest to the narrowest, so the smallest to the biggest. So, of course, I'm not going to waste time on it. We have the one-third, the one-fifth, and the seven. Okay? So the seven, we know that this is the narrowest. At the end, it's supposed to be the seven. Now the question is between the one-third and the one-fifth. Guys, if you're not sure, all you need to do is just try and graph it. So... If we plug in 1 here, so it's going to be negative 1 fifth. So 1, okay, and it's going to be negative 1 fifth. Let's say negative 1 fifth here, okay? The second one is negative 1 third. Now, the negative 1 third, if we plug in 1, it's going to be negative 1 third. Now, where's the, now, if this one, it would be the graph, just if I'm not, like, it's going to be this one, okay? Now, the 1 and one third, of course, the one third is bigger. The one third is bigger than the one fifth. So it's going to be, it's going to be here. This is one fifth, so it's going to be one third, let's say it's here. So it's going to be here, okay? And it's going to get narrower. So because the one third is bigger, so it's more narrow. So, so the first one is the seven in the middle one third and the first one is one fifth so it would be this one as you can see as big the a is as narrow the graph will be 
for which value of x is the row in the table of values incorrect. The same thing, guys. All you need to do is plug in the numbers. So you plug in 0. If you can see it. You plug in 0. 0 times 3, 4 is 0. Perfect. You plug in 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3, 4 is 3. In this case, it's 4. So the incorrect one is 2. All you need to do is plug in and check if it's 1. In this case, the same thing, the verdicts, as you can see, I'm not going to waste a lot of time because I don't have enough time for the video to upload it. So I, don't, I need to specific time. I need a specific time. So again, it's in this case, it's one negative one. And of course, it's a minimum. So one negative one and minimum. Which of the quadratic functions has a nervous graph? The same thing, I'll let it for you to solve it. So I'm not going to solve it. Uh, this one, again, I'm not going to solve this one because we just solved some of it. So, again, guys, this is an easy one. I hope you get an A. Be safe. Have a wonderful day.